Hey guys, so I recently watched the survival show Outlast on Netflix, and I put in air quotes survival show because it starts off as a survival show for like the first four episodes, and it devolves into vile bullying and stealing by the end of the show. So what happens is they first start off into four groups. There's A team, B team, C team, and D team. And the goal of the show is to survive until the end with part, with your team to win a million dollars. Now, if people on your team quit and you're the last person on your team of four, then uh, you have to join another group to be able to stay in the game. And if no one will accept you, you have to shoot a flare off and you leave the game. So there's 16 players in total, four people on each group. And if someone, if everyone leaves your group and you're the last person there, you have to join another group. So, for the first four episodes, it's, like, survival stuff. They have to, like, make these boats that they've given them with these inner tubes to go to this island and get, like, crab traps. And, like, they have to get, like, fishing gear. And there's, like, certain challenges they have to complete and stuff. But then by, I think it's, like, episode five, it just gets awful. And what happens is A Tribe sees that D Tribe only has two players left. So they decide, okay, we're going to try to force them out of the game. So what they do is when D Tribe is out like foraging for food and stuff, the A Tribe sneaks over to their camp across the river with um, their boat. And they go and they steal their sleeping bags. Now keep in mind, this is in Alaska. It's like 30 degrees during the day if you're lucky. And at night it gets down to like 20 degrees and lower temperatures and it's raining. And this area of Alaska gets like 100 inches of snow in the winter and a lot of rain. So the people basically need their, their sleeping bags to keep warm at night. Otherwise they could be hypothermic. So A-Tribe is like, you know what, we're going to take their sleeping bags to try to force them to leave the game. And so they sleep, sneak over there, they steal their sleeping bags, and while they're stealing their sleeping bags, um, the D-Tribe, they come back to their, their base, basically, and they find that their sleeping bags are stolen. And they're like, what the heck, where are our sleeping bags at? So they go and they look on the shore and they notice that there's, there's a boat there. And they're like, how did this get here? Like, someone's obviously sabotaging us. So they pop the tubes on the boat and they go back to um, basically their shelter and the guy Justin who had stolen the sleeping bags gets on the raft and basically he has to swim through the water while carrying the sleeping bags because his, his boat is now popped. And then um, they get back over there and D-Tribe thinks that the the tribe on their beach, uh, the C tribe actually stolen it, but they find out that the A tribe had done it. And, um, so the whole night the D tribe was without sleeping bags and they end up like heating up rocks and stuff to keep themselves warm at night in the fire. So they have like these rocks and they've heated them up and put them by themselves. But the A tribe then continues to do like despicable things. And, um, uh, D tribe ends up in the morning. They end up trying to join up with B, the group, the B, the B group. I don't know. I keep saying tribe, but the B group and, um, uh, Brian from the B group, uh, ends up shooting off his flare because he's upset with what the A tribe did. And he says he doesn't want to be a part of the game. So, the guy from B is on his own team now, Javier, and he tries to join up with D, and D comes over, and they're like, you know what, we can't play a game where people are this vile and everything, this is not the game we sign up to play, and so they end up shooting off their flares too, so three people shot off their flares, and then Javier from B decides he's going to try to join up with the, the C group, he goes to the C group, and they won't... They, they won't accept him because they don't want to face backlash from the A group. Because the A group um, tried to form an alliance with the C group to try to get out the rest of the players uh, in the game so that they're just the last two groups remaining. 
And <clears throat> honestly, Jill and Amber from A are the most despicable people. They treat everybody in the game terrible. And um, they're the ones who came up with the idea to steal the sleeping bags in the first place. And then when the guy Javier is uh, on B and he can no longer join up with anybody, they go over and they sabotage. Like when he's trying to join up with people, they go over and they sabotage his shelter and uh, start stealing his stuff, his sleeping bags. They, they pop his boat. They do all sorts of terrible stuff to him when he's over there and it ends up that Javier can't join up with any group anymore and he ends up shooting his flare off and leaving the game. So the A group sabotaged the other groups and they ended up shooting off their flares. So four people were gotten out because of them. And in the end, uh, Justin from the A group tries to join up with C um, after the A group had a big split and they started like um, basically yelling at each other and blaming each other for stealing food and stuff. And then Justin freaking tears up their their uh, tarp at A group, join, goes and tries to join C. And C's like, nah, man, we don't want you over here because you're acting terrible and everything. And you tore up the their tarp. We don't want to play with sabotagers. So at the end, it's only the two girls, Jill and Amber, who are terrible from A group versus uh, the C group, which... The C didn't do anything bad. They were fine people. And in the end, uh, good prevails and the C group wins. Um, and the two the two vile bullies from A group, Jill and Amber, end up losing, which is just hilarious. Um, and I'm all here for it. So real quick, I just want to read you my review that I wrote on IMDb for the, uh, for the show. And um, I wrote... One team is absolutely horrible. Outlast really shows how greedy people can be and how far they will go to win money. Literally stealing sleeping bags and survival gear to try and force someone to leave is horrible. The whole Alpha team should be ashamed of themselves, especially Jill and Amber. The show started off as a survival show for the first couple of episodes, but soon turned into vile thievery and bullying. It's probably the closest reality show I've seen that literally becomes Order of the Flies. The Alpha Tribe decided, since there were hardly any rules in the show, that they would do despicable acts to try and force other players to shoot their flares off and leave the game. This whole scenario could have been stopped if, pro if production wanted it to, but no, they let it carry on so they are just as much to blame. Honestly, if you're looking for a survival show to watch, look elsewhere because this show is just not it. And I hope it never gets renewed because it was just shockingly horrible. And that's the other thing I want to hit on, is that production allowed this to go on. And, um... I actually read an interview from Dalton Ross that, uh, um, and, uh, he said he found out from an interview that production, uh, uh, just kind of, you know, it, they let it happen. And, um, most of production was away when they stole from the camp, but still the camera crew and production that were there, let it carry on. They didn't have any consequences for stealing anything from the other groups or sabotaging the other groups or anything. Like, stealing sleeping bags and survival gear from another group to force them to quit is just des despicable. And that's not even what the show was about. The show was about trying to survive as a group in the wilderness and coming together as a group to try to win a million dollars. And it just became into vile thievery and bullying by the end of the show. And honestly... Uh, if you just want to watch it for that drama, I guess go ahead. But if people just want to watch survival shows, I would not recommend it. It's probably not going to get renewed for another season. It's looking at a 5 out of 10 on, on IMDb right now. And most people are rating it a 1 out of 10 because of what it became. And mainly because production didn't do anything about it. There should have been a rule that you can't steal from other people. Like there were hardly any rules in the show at all. And honestly, like, if there were rules that you couldn't steal from each other and everything, then the show would have been much better because of it. But the people on the show showed their true colors. And there was, you know, someone like Javier who had great moral compass and, you know, he played well. He didn't do any of that stuff. And if he hadn't have been forced off of the show by these people... 
then I think he probably would have won. And honestly, I think he deserves comp compensation for it because if he was allowed to stay as just his group, the B group, uh, by himself, because of the rule that you had to be part of a group to stay, that means he was forced off of the show. And it was just, you know, I I feel bad for him and I feel feel awful that Jill and Amber treated and bullied people and treated them people so bad and I don't know I I just I don't think I think it's going to be canceled after this first season because of how terrible the contestants acted but um I don't know uh let me know what you guys think in the comments below and also I'm using a little bit different audio setup right now because I'm not, not at my house right now but I'll uh, catch you guys in the next video this is not the average gaming signing out catch you in the next one